Tonight on RGB, we go for a trip down memory lane with a review of the celeb stories that May 2017 want to remember. The show that shows the other show's flames is back with an episode so hot you'll be able to start a pry on your TV screen as soon as the episode is done. Ikamalam Ningu Tonovan Goliath, and next to me is the woman who looks as good as Christmas and New Year's roll together, Mrs. Nazoyola. And Gossip Drama, I must say, you're also looking as good as a bonus about to be blown. Ikamalam Ningu Mrs. Nazoyola, and this is the real Kaboza. Now, I'm trying to say, Temasin Patele, a trip back through 2017 and all the juicy gossip that made it a year to remember. Gotwake, as is Uyanza Sotwa Lendo, we've assembled a panel of opinionated peeps to come and share their shade on all the ish that went down. Now joining us in studio for the yearly gossip review, we have everyone's favorite singer from the Nameless Band. He's also an actor, Uma Bleu. Daily Sun and Sunday Sun journal, Udorin Molefe is here with us. And our favorite lifestyle journal from the citizen, Ukrazy K, Ukhosi Modisane. And let's not forget the wonderful DJ Mulo. Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. The king of Guaito became the focus of hashtag men are trash movement when he allegedly abused used his partner and artist Sisi Mkhuka Nangemoto. Now Sisi's recovery has been speedy. Mable, tell me, why is it that every single woman ongenagwa triple nine funega akalachol? Uh, I think it's the nature of the beast. Mm. And let's just be honest about it. And you know, people miss Lalapans, especially in platforms like this. See a sabu kulumang about the fact what's going on in this industry. It's just to see Sinabantu Beslisa who are in charge and by Tandela Ban Pesfazane, Naban Pesfazane. Uh, they see this as an opportunity to get ahead. And that's just the nature of the beast. Now, Doreen, do you think that celebrities get away with a lot of things just because they're famous? Yes, of course. Um, most cases, in most cases, um, nobody cares about a girl from Rustenburg who wants to say whatever on Twitter. Instead, you are the one who's, who will end up being attacked because you're a nobody. But in such issues that we are just dealing with, um, we let them uh, get away with such because they are people are scared to challenge them. Because, I mean, you'll, you'll find that the, the rest of the celeb will, will attack you if you ever have to raise such a question. Do you know what it is during, um, uh, because we all play in the space. Yeah. It's just that Songke, we, we um, it's a small industry. Mm. Okay. And everybody has these loyalties and everybody's connected to everybody. And they'll say, why didn't you call me? And I'm like, but I had to call you out yeah. in public because it's in public. So yeah. it, that, that becomes the huge problem. But the I think that's the, the thing is mm. people tend to, be, to, to forget that when you're being called out, I'm not going to be decent, like not decent, but I'm not going to like be secretive and call you up. Mm. Just because I have your number, I'll call you afterwards to be like, what you did was trash, but on the platform, people need to know where, you, you stand. where I stand about this, yeah. you know my, what I mean? My issue is loyalty does not play any role here. Abuse is abuse. I know people they don't, they don't take Ziggy serious, but she's one of the people who will be calling out their celebrities. You know what I'm saying? So That's someone true. like like her, and she's nobody a takes it. Yes, somebody when she says anything about Zamo when she says anything you know what I'm saying? It doesn't really make that, sense. Then that means she must take whatever case she has, whatever grievance she has off of social media, off of public platforms, and go and follow the right channels. But wait, what, I mean, social media is the right So what channel, if the perpetrator but, you know, is then a celebrity? If you meet you me at the corner of outside. Twitter and Instagram, I'm no. gonna meet you there. So a uh, and it's going yes. down. So you abuse me and I go to Twitter instead of going to the police. And it's going down on but the corner of the Instagram police. and Twitter. Twitter is there for us it to is. discuss such issues. We've gone to the police, then what, as a nation, what is it that we're saying mm. about such an issue that is already out there? We need to condemn these there. things, you know mm. what I'm saying? We need to publicly yes. condemn these things things and it, this thing actually even goes way deeper because naturally as guys we side with each other that's another yes. problem that we have and that's why I mean I believe in the whole men are trash because you see all these abusers if we all as guys and said 
if you ever, as a friend or as a guy, gives a toy, you abuse someone, I'll cut you off. You know what I'm saying? All these abusers and friends, Abapuza and Abonge Weekend, you know, they sit together, even the language, like I, I remember I, I wrote a post about the, the language that we use to refer to women as guys. It starts there. That, that's how we need to, that's, that's why we need to start correcting ourselves. And if somebody does something in a public platform, we need to call you out on a public platform. Let's move on. We've chatted, we chatted a little bit about Arthur and we're obviously opening this case up a lot, a lot more. Oh, Mr. Mazola himself, Umtu Masilela, um, another <laughs> quite a legend. Now, I want to know from you guys, like, what, do you, what, is your, what are your thoughts? I think it's, it's indicative and it shows uh, the state of the country right now when uh, our, our icons or our people that we look up to are in fact as human as everyone else. And you know what? It's what you were saying about Ut Ut Twitter. Well, Twitter is the reason why these things are coming out. Yes. This is not new. This started a long time ago. That's why cases are, are, are dating back on some. That's why we had the Me Too campaign, mm -hmm. where people are saying, it happened to me as well. So I really feel that we need to support the movement of calling people out. Yeah, and if you, if I know you and you do something, I'm not going to... There's a way that you call someone. I, I'm, I, I shouldn't attack you. Yeah. I should say I, call, I, I, I do not condone such mm -hmm. behavior. Behavior, I feel that Mulo was wrong and I will take it up with him after this. My, my biggest issue even right now in this discussion is that thinking that because there's not a public outcry on social media, thinking that perhaps maybe that means that someone is getting away with it. We must look at the back end of the law and say, are people being persecuted mm. against for abuse? Then social yes, media is helping leading. that. It's the, it's, you need, the victim needs a voice, a platform to say, this is what happened to me. And social media right now is giving them that place. So I, 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 I hear what Mulo is saying, you know yeah. what I mean? And I totally agree with uh, making a big noise about it and creating awareness around this thing and calling people out. But I hear what you're saying. It can't live in that world alone. Mm. Once we move out of it, are people then going, sharp? we need to go to the police station. Forms need to be filled out. Let's do this. Sinenkinga in this country of dockets being lost. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's very hard that's to lose it. No, no, no. It's very hard to lose a docket of a public case. Mm. That's where social media comes in. Yeah. If we made a noise about it, your docket can't disappear. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> it's hard. Guys, when it comes to umdu, what I've been reading is these are recent allegations. They don't go too far back into his marriage and into his career. So is it because Simpapele, a fresh wave, and now it's getting to his head? What what role does our resurgent interest in him Uncle Bay vibes. play into that? Is, is he Bay now vibes. just getting cocky because yes. he's Uncle Bay? Uncle Bay vibes. Didn't I think there was a recent case about his new? He's got a baby mama baby now, mama. Mm. that of which he also gave some few clubs to, to that baby mom. So it's not like maybe... He pulled a gun on her, didn't you? No, 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 no. the wife, one, no? he pulled and a gun. Wife. This one, he hit. The side this is just sad he got, She me. got clubs. This is just sad But I so, think also, I mean, I, you know, I'm, people are gonna hate me, but if I'm looking, like if Doreen is in a relationship with Mdu and Doreen is getting slapped, what difference do I think I'm gonna make to Mdu? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, if I'm joining this relationship as a side chick or whatever, do I think I'm going to change and do, do what's going to happen? But that's the fallacy of most women who they can change. We all, yes. we all like want women to save one, them. Women love... I grew up in a house filled with women, and women have this thing who would say, I can change him. I mean, my whole problem with this, like, there's two Kwaito artists that are my ultimate favorites. Yeah. It's Zutebe and it's Zumtu. So I took this very personally. That's why I'm just like, it hurt me. It hurt me deep. Like, now I have to throw out... So many albums, <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> and it's songs that I love. But the question is, do you condemn the person's art because of a few mistakes that the question person has done? That in, do you know what's the problem? It's that I can't put money into your pocket. Exactly. After, when after that you, is your character. When it, that, that, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When, and especially now in the age of streaming. I want to buy bullets and be you know, like... But the thing is, you, you know what? There are certain things, we are all human. Ne? We are all human and we all make mistakes. But I honestly believe that laying your, like putting your hand on someone is not a mistake. There's certain things that just put you in a certain category.
You know what I'm and saying? And there should be a line. And there yeah. should be a line. Mistakes, yeah. but there should be a line. You're going to pulling a gun on your wife, oh, you know smacking up your baby mama. This, <laughs> this is, is a line. And why do you have the line? It's enough of the stain on your character for me to decide I no longer want to support your art. I can't support you. Do better, Kings. We're going to wrap up easily with the most high-profile abuse case. Abuse case of 2017. The deputy minister went from hero to zero when he was recorded a better osisi abatato. And then a flood of other charges came to light as the light on his career was going out. So my first question to you guys, if a man is comfortable with his sexuality. I like where you're going. Let's, let's, why let's give does it to two crazy kids. Why kids does it bug you if someone alleges or accusing you of batting for a different team to the one you know you, you are with? Okay, so I'm gonna play devil's I'm advocate. Next after you. <laughs> I'm gonna play devil's advocate. No one has the right to, to say anyone's sexuality. Hmm. Jay, you, whatever you think of me, it's none of your business. Hmm. You, you know what I mean? Mm. We're still and in a space it. where calling someone gay is considered an insult. Yeah. Mm. It and is. that's the mentality change. It's the we fact need that to get insulted. You know what I mean? Mm. You know, if you, if you say you're gay, but when you use a word like, it's Chuzani, that like, or stubborn. It's stubborn. You, you, your peers, it's, it's I, like, you know what I mean? It's I, very, 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 it's an insult. Can I jump so in? What I, but deep. what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, um, no one has the right to, to, to ever disclose of anyone, no, no, even if I slept with you, it does not mean you can disclaim, de de declare anything about me. So, and on, and on the other side as well, he, he still didn't have the right to react the way he did. Okay. All right. Um, the law has taken its course on the deputy minister. Mm -hmm. And that, that, as I said, I'm anti-violence. Now, here's my thing. I want to address this we all grew up, to those of us that grew up in the township, we need to um, address the homophobia by women. Yes. And it's not, it's not the kind of homophobia that is, like there's a different, there's a different way that men go about their homophobia. Yeah. And there's a different way that women go out, go about with their homophobia. It's this whole thing of degrading gay men and saying and, and, and outing gay men in public like that yes. to disgrace you, okay. to, to belittle you, yeah. to, and now here's the thing. It's, it's the same thing when, as a man, that's why a lot of guys um, don't want to speak up, don't want to argue, because the minute you speak up and the minute you can articulate yourself, yeah. which, by the way, degrades womanhood on its own. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's, it's self-hate on another level. So uh, you are not allowed. That's why, see, that's why men, it's, it's a vicious cycle. That's why men beat women, because they feel that I'm not allowed to use my words, because the minute I use my words, words yeah. it's all of those things that we need to attack and i said you know we're done with the minister the minister is the law has taken its course we need to deal now with that yeah guys mtutusi manana also mentioned Uguti, he's also got gay friends mm. he's not so he, he he's not gay himself but he's got gay friends is it really do we really need to be having these conversations I, I don't know. in the I think it's a bit suspicious in, that, in, that, in that, that he's trying so hard to um, to maintain. Saying, right? I think it's a bit suspicious <laughs> that he's trying so hard <laughs> to maintain do not stop his, his do not stop straightness. The problem, the problem whatever. starts with the whole coming out thing, yeah. and that's why Um Tutuzi now has to go and defend whether he is or oh, he's, he's not, not gay. Business. You shouldn't have to defend it, Thank and you. it's none of anybody's business whether you're bi, you are tri, you are quadruple, or whatever oh, you, you are. are. Gay, Oh, you're playing. Imani oh, again. Day, Imani everything. again. No, you know, we've chatted a lot about, <laughs> about physical abuse. To see if you agree or disagree with the viewers, with the views of the panelists, remember the hashtag is Riokoposa. Please do it now because Riokoposa is about to take a commercial break. More fire lined up for you guys. We'll see you soon. Coming up, we go for a trip down memory lane with a review of the celeb stories that made 2017 pop.
The only show that shows celebrities the things they wish they could forget is back. Here is the best of the tours, the clapbacks and beefs that made Shade the ultimate accessory for every single celeb to throw when online. I call this one the battle of the bad bads. Yes, bad behavior, it be trend and two ladies got very famous for it and then angry with each other for being competition. This is the story of the beef between Uskolpat Nozodaba. My favorite. I know that my panel is going to have some things to say on this. <laughs> Are these people not basically famous for the same thing? At the Feather Awards, the two were there. Hmm. Ne? Zotwa, firstly, there was a mix up with the awards because Zotwa got the award that was supposed to get to be for Skolo Bat. And I know this because of the, the embargo that was sent out. Now, already, with that being, being said, at the after party, Zotwa walked in to dance. And from where I was sitting, I could see Skolo Bat is a fan of <laughs> Zotwa. Do you know what I mean? Oh. However, she, she, see, she likes what Zotwa is doing, but just tends to seek attention too much. Whereas with Zotwa, attention fell on her. No. That's the difference. Okay. One attention fell on, and the other is literally going out for the attention. Two. That's the difference. Okay. So how the drama started? We were at the further nominees announcement. The photographer asked the two ladies, "Can I take a picture of both of, of you?" Both of you. Zotwa refused. Yes. She said, I am not going to be in the same space with this woman. We are not on the same level. So I guess the problem is levels. Yeah, mm. So levels, <laughs> of levels of life. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, there are levels to level and to level. To you. Level. Yes. Yes. I need to throw it to you after this. Yes. So there are levels to this hustle Did you hear of this, this conversation with your own ears. I heard it from the horse's mouth. Mm. Not the horse, but the horse that I was told. The photographer. <laughs> 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 the jockey? <laughs> yes, the photographer is the one who gave me pictures. So how the story broke, I'm the one who wrote the story. Let's move on very quickly. Now, I think that the only beef between the two is the dress that Uskolopat wear. That's the only beef. Versace, Versace. was there. Who ate it? No, she ate it. On Saturday. Between Saturday she had it. Wait, wait, she ate it? Yes, on Saturday. We had another story on She did not eat the verse that was in the dress. On Saturday, <laughs> check her social media account. On Saturday, after the awards, ah, she but bribed the meat. But the meat was not in the fridge and it was around hot areas. <laughs> we don't know. Uh, hot okay. areas. Exactly. It's covered. It's covered. Nobody was it's around hot areas. It's covered. What, what but it was covered. It was, it was, covered. It was in But it, you need to keep meat in, in the fridge. fridge. Uh, yeah. But here's the, the thing. Here's the thing. It was, these are hot. It but in Zulu, we call them in the way no love. <laughs> Skolpat was there. She took pictures for like 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Yeah. After she went and changed into yeah. the red dress. Yeah. Yeah. So, put so in the cooler box. where the meat was, we don't know. But she claims that she wow. brought the meat. There are pictures of her buying the meat with a few of her relatives. Uh, wow. Wow. Meat was, wow. How many wow. outfits can you say you've wow. gotten that much use from? <laughs> <laughs> Mulo, quick yeah. one, over to you. Who do you think is more talented between the two? My problem is I'm not too sure what they're talented in. So I don't know whether I can comment on that. I mean, Zoto dances, uh, even a dancing, I, I, I don't Let's think see it's too... I, I, I don't know, I can't, I can't... Vosha in here. That's talent right there. Remember that hashtag is hashtag Real Koboza. You can pick up on the conversation and keep it going. Everything that these guys have just said. After the break, we finish the third and final set of the Shade Show with a look at the books that celebs offered us in 2017. Now, wrap up of the issues that had us grabbing tissues in 2017 is back. Mm hmm. Everybody knows that the pen is mightier than the sword. So, Nengwadi Ezipalu as a celebs Gulonyaga proved just that. Here are the winners and losers in the battle to sell books. Now, arguably the winner of 2017 and definitely the winner in the latest celeb craze of writing books is Somi Zimlongo. Now, when it comes to life, it seems that Usom Gaga can do no wrong and shot to the top of the celeb world with his literally offering. Okay, so Queen Bee's book uh, had maybe just a little bit more mistakes and the answers of a student who didn't study for the exam got like a samtanda or siswake all the while throwing all the royal shade that she deserves. Mulo, what did you think of Somkaka's book? Um, I didn't read the book itself, but I saw extracts. I'll say this, his story, his life, 
and the fact that right now he's on top of the food chain in terms of entertainment. Uh, his story is compelling enough for people to want to know exactly how he got to where he is. I think that's the number one reason why his book did better than anyone else's. Not necessarily the controversy of everyone else's book in terms of uh, spelling errors and grammatical errors in Wonang's book, but I think generally, Somizi's story is more compelling than Wonang's right now. Well, let's, let's jump to Mabla. I want to stay on this question of mistakes. No? When um, exclusive books obviously pulled um, Bonang's book, how did you feel about that? Were they right in doing so? I'm hemorrhaging. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm. Okay. I'm the wrong person to ask uh, because if you go to my tweets, you go to my Facebook updates, I'm a grammar Nazi. Mm. Uh, I'm a perfectionist when it comes to writing, so I want to bow out of this one. I, just, I, I, I I'm the wrong person to ask. Okay, well, 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 How did you feel <laughs> when exclusive books pulled this book? Do you think they were right in doing so? As a business, from a business perspective, yes, because now, but you know, it was bringing back business because people were, we were, were complaining, and it was just this big ha ha, and now you're associated with this thing. Mm. So as a, as from a brand perspective and like a business pulling out, yes. Um, however, I like to think, so, uh, to add on what um, Mulo said, Swamizi has a story to tell. You know, when, 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 like Bonang's still like coming up, like still busy with her story. So I feel like the book was still a bit premature. Mm. However, when you look at Somizi, at her, at his age, he had a lot to tell us, mm. even though he didn't tell us all of it. But the book was this. But that's the thing, even though he didn't tell us all of it. It was a summary. You know, he has a, a, an actual story. He was. Best story. No, but what I'm saying, that's what I'm so saying. Mean, why are you showing us that the empty story is done? You don't have to. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> body shaming. <laughs> you are body shaming. shaming. And, we, and we, we, we're we also cute. laughing. We are part of the problem, guys. Yes, we, we need to do better. Mable, Zabuela Gowesens was lagele by the last question. The fact that Bonang saw the criticism of the mistakes in the book and said, I'm going to take this book and fix what they think is wrong with it and then republish it. Do you think that she owed us an apology, Oganye? Did she go about this the right way? I really feel that the... See, this is why... Some of us actually read, guys. We read books. When there's an autobiography that's out, somebody wrote that. Somebody proofread that. You know what I'm saying? And those people are paid by Bonang to do mm. that. It is very unfair how she was treated exactly. in the whole thing. Yes. Because she did not claim... I don't know if she she put herself as the author of the book, meaning that she typed the the, the, the story. So, but... For Twitter, for people on Twitter, by the way, I'm sure 90% of them saw the, ex the extracts and did yes. not read the book. Went after her because it is fun to go oh, after her. Because this was actually, for, for Bonang, this was her first mistake. Exactly. And so everybody jumped in. Like, oh, you know what I'm saying? And, but for me, there was no point where I, I, I felt that she owed me an apology. She did not write the book. She's not the publisher. She's not the one that proofread the book. She hired people to do that and those people failed her. Mm. Well, thank you very much for your opinions, your views, and of course your shade, which is what keeps hey, the lights true. on on Irel Koposa. Now, I know you have your own views on who should have made the list for today, and we here at Irel Koposa always value your opinion. Now, if you feel the need to shade, please do so on our Facebook page, Official Irel Koposa, or our Twitter and Instagram feeds, at Official RGB, using the hashtag, hashtag Real Okay, now if you want the message to be just between the two of us, come do it with personal pages there. He's at Donovan Goliath and I am at Sinazo Yolwa. Good night.